Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80744. So today, guys, we pretty uh, um, ranking with the guys all the international regional competitions in the world from worst to best. Okay, so I want to know your guys' um, uh, rankings in the comments below, guys. Please remember, guys, to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow, and I would appreciate the support. So, anyways, let's start with number six. Number six, I have the OFC Nations Cup. For me, it is the worst of the bunch. I mean, do I even really need to explain? New Zealand always generally wins this. And the fact that this tournament, for me, New Zealand keeps on winning, it just you can't really rank it higher than six, you know? It's just ridiculous. Um, shout out to Tahiti, though. They did win this one uh, several years ago, I think in 2010. If I'm if someone can fact check me in the comments, that would be appreciated. Um, they won this a long time ago, so, you know. Uh, like I said, though, it's it's generally been New Zealand, so, you know, not anything too surprising there. All right, in fifth place, fifth place I have is CONCACAF Gold Cup. As much as I love CONCACAF, you guys know CONCACAF is my confederation, I have to admit the Gold Cup is the fifth best, and it is the second worst. And the reason for that is because you look at the winners of the tournaments. It's always been Mexico or um, USA. Mexico or USA always make the final. Fun fact, I believe there's only been one final in CONCACAF's Gold Cup entire history where neither has made the final, which was the 2000 final in which Canada defeated uh, Colombia in the final. Other than that, it's always been USA or Mexico in the final, you know? And that's the thing that really kind of bothers me with this tournament is that none of the other nations be besides these two have really driven and stepped up to try to, like, take the tournament... Um, you know, it, it's not really been competitive outside the two. And, you know, that's kind of a problem. Even you look at this edition, even with USA and Mexico giving their um, raw, a B team roster a go, and they don't even have the strongest rosters, you would probably expect one of USA and Mexico to make the final because of how um, because of how underwhelming the other nations have been. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Hopefully in this edition, neither makes the final just for the uh, just for this competition's sake. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, then fourth place, fourth place up at the AFC Asian Cup. Now this was really tricky. Um, I ended up with the Asian Cup fourth because of the fact that I feel like for me, with the Asian Cup, you kind of get the same expected. You know, like you always see the favorites always win. You know, and I feel like for me, yes, the Asian Cup we've had some new winners here and there. Like obviously Iraq winning was amazing, Qatar winning was incredible. But honestly, I just think the Asian Cup for me just doesn't compete with the top three. I feel like for me. The games aren't as exciting or as, you know, entertaining, you know. I feel like with the Asian Cup, it's about as you would expect. It's still good. I still like it, and I do think it's considerably better than CONCACAF uh, Gold Cup. But it's not really, like, it's not really anywhere close, in my opinion, to the top three. Okay. Now, third is Africa Cup of Nations. This tournament is amazing. I think people really underrate this tournament. I think this tournament needs to get more respected because... I look at the last edition of the AFCON. We had some craziness that happened. Algeria went out of the group stage. Then you had Ghana that went out of the group stage. Senegal finally winning their first AFCON. And then you look at it um, several years ago. Zambia won their very first AFCON. Then obviously, um, you know, um, Ivory Coast, you know, they finally won it. You know, even without Drogba. Like, these kind of narratives are so amazing for the final. And then obviously, Mohamed Salah reaching two AFCON finals, still not been able to win it, you know. And Nigeria going in the round of 16. Like, there's so much craziness with this tournament. Like, so much unpredictability. Upsets can happen. And that's why, for me, it is number three. I just feel like, for me, it's a really good tournament. I really do enjoy this. And I just think it's amazing. I just think it's fantastic. It's end-to-end. -end, and it's amazing, man. I really do really enjoy it. All right. Next up, it is, for me, the second place. Now, this might come as a controversial opinion. A lot of people might get mad at me for me saying this in the comments below. I think the Euro is the second place for me. Now, I still respect the Euros. I think the Euros is still great. I still love the Euros, and I still do think it's great. My issue with the Euros, though, is the primarily the fact that I feel like, for me, the games aren't as exciting as people make it out to be um, compared to Copa America. Now, I will say this, though. Obviously, in terms of popularity, this clears Copa America, obviously. And this is probably um, the most competitive, you could probably argue. My issue with the Euros, though, is that there's always, like, the European nations that even the ones that make it, there's always ones that don't really compete very well. Like, for example, like, um, you know, I look at um, in the last edition we had um, North Macedonia. They weren't that great. You know, Georgia. Um, well, not, sorry, not Georgia. Um, Scotland, you know, etc. Like, there is these kind of nations, you know. And I feel like for me with the Euros is that, yes, the last couple of editions were interesting, like 2020, 2016. I feel like 2012, um, back, beyond that, it's not been that great. So, 
you know, we, we've had, we haven't really got a lot of upsets and shocks, in my opinion. Like, Greece was a pretty amazing, Portugal as well, I suppose. You know, I just feel like for me, the Euros just about goes as you expect. And, you know, Spain have dominated this too, man. That's also, and I think Spain and Germany kind of own this in some ways, you know. And so, yeah, that's why, uh, for me, I just don't think the Euros as good as people make it out to be. It's still great. I still love the Euros, just for me, not my number one. And number one for me, it's Copa America. Copa America, man. Copa America for me, is the best. I really love the Copa America. I think it's fantastic what the, the nations do because you see all the nations be competitive. Even the worst ones, like Bolivia, Venezuela, they could still get, they could still pull off some stuff, you know? And I think what makes this tournament so fan fantastic is that it's so unpredictable, right? You know, um, and that, you know, Brazil, Argentina, um, sometimes, um, they don't make the final. There's been some additions where they haven't made the final. Like, I think 2011, they neither made the final, I believe, you know? And I just like for me with this uh, with this Copa America, I just think it's fantastic. You know, then you have the North American nations that get sometimes involved, which was pretty cool. The Centro Americano, and Chile, you know, Argentina. I just feel like for me, this tournament has everything. You know, it has all the fighting, all that stuff, all the physical altercations. Then you have all the brawls, you have all the drama, you know? It's crazy, man. A lot of things happen. I love the Copa America. So for me, it is my number one. I want to know what you guys think, though, in the comments below, guys. I'm sure you guys have your own different opinions. So please let me know in the comments below, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And like I said, guys, remember guys to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Remember guys to please become a member of the channel as we're trying to grow our member-based platform on the channel. It's only $1 per month. And you get access to members' videos and members' streams. So remember to do all that, guys. Also, turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I go live upload a video and also check out my email at the platform's description below and yeah like i said guys i'll see you guys later peace out